Have you ever wondered about the origins of one of the most beautiful countries in Europe? Today we'll take a journey through the history of the Czech Republic. During the Neolithic period, from around 5000 BCE, the region was inhabited by a group of people known as the Linear Pottery Culture. They were farmers and cattle herders who lived in small villages and made pottery using a distinctive linear design. In the Bronze Age, from around 1800 BCE, the Urnfield culture emerged in the region. They were a highly developed society of metal workers who buried their dead in urns, hence the name. The Iron Age saw the arrival of the Celts, who established a powerful kingdom in the region. They were known for their skilled metalworking and for their use of the chariot in warfare. The Boi, a Celtic tribe, inhabited the lands of Bohemia and gave the region its name. In the first century BCE, the Roman Empire expanded into the region and the area became part of the Roman province of Pannonia. However, the Romans never established a permanent settlement in what is now the Czech Republic. In the 9th century, the first Slavic tribes settled in the region and the history of the Czech lands began to take shape. In the 14th century, the Kingdom of Bohemia emerged as a major power with Prague as its capital. One of the most notable rulers of Bohemia was Charles IV, who became king in 1346. Under his reign, Prague became a center of culture and learning, and the construction of the famous Charles Bridge began. In the 16th century, the Protestant Reformation reached Bohemia, and the country became embroiled in religious conflicts due to the arrival of Protestantism, which challenged the authority of the Catholic Church. The conflict between the Catholic Habsburgs and the Protestant Czechs came to a head in 1618 with the defenestration of Prague. This event involved throwing two Habsburg officials out of a window of the Prague castle by Czech Protestants. This event sparked the Thirty Years' War, a complex conflict that involved many European powers and lasted from 1618 to 1648. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, the Czech lands were part of the Austrian Empire, and Prague became a center of Czech nationalism and culture. One of the most important figures of this time was Frantisek Palecki, a historian and politician who advocated for the preservation of the Czech language and culture. In 1918, at the end of World War I, Czechoslovakia was established as an independent republic, with Tomas Garig Masaryk as its first president. Masaryk played a key role in the establishment of democracy and human rights in Czechoslovakia, and the country became one of the most prosperous and liberal in Europe in the interwar period. However, in 1938, Czechoslovakia was dismembered by Nazi Germany, with the Sudetenland region being annexed by Hitler's regime. During World War II, the Czech resistance played a significant role in opposing the Nazis, and Prague became a center of resistance. After the war, Czechoslovakia became a communist state under the control of the Soviet Union. The country was ruled by a series of communist leaders, including Clement Gottwald, who served as the first communist prime minister from 1948 until his death in 1953. In 1968, a period known as the Prague Spring occurred, during which Czechoslovakia briefly experienced political liberalization and increased freedoms. Under the leadership of Alexander Dubček, the country began to implement reforms aimed at creating socialism with a human face. However, this period was short-lived, as Soviet forces invaded the country to suppress the reforms. Dubček was replaced as leader, and the country returned to a period of repression and dictatorship. The 1980s saw a growing movement for democracy and freedom in Czechoslovakia, culminating in the Velvet Revolution of 1989. Led by dissident playwright Václav Havel, the revolution was a peaceful protest movement that ultimately led to the fall of communism in Czechoslovakia. The country transitioned to a democratic system, and Havel became the country's first post-communist president. In 1993, however, the country peacefully split into two separate countries, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Since then, the Czech Republic has continued to develop as a democratic and prosperous country. In 2004, the country joined the European Union, and in 2020, the country held its first ever direct presidential election. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel.